Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel. Just a quick video showing you a few bits of information you might want to know about. If you ever think about replacing your injectors or getting them done, and we've said it before, just be very careful where you go. There's plenty of people that can damage your vehicle as part of their services. So, one of the first things, this is Michael's vehicle, okay? Pretty clean in there. I'd say he hasn't owned it since new because, see the staining? See the yellow colour? But it's not black, so... It's good that it's not black, but I reckon it's been stained from not as many oil changes as what he does. He probably gets it serviced fairly regularly because um, it looks to me like it's cleaned up. It looks like it's had a bit of staining, but look, it's in very clean condition. Now, what we're going to do in this video, um, we've got to show you some cracks in the valve cover. There was a bit of oil there. What else is under the bonnet here? Um, yeah, I don't know. What do we... Let's try a different angle. I don't know. What do we got here? Now it's getting pretty boring, isn't it? No, it's not. Look what we've got here. <laughs> hey, uh, you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? Looks like a B1. Let's have a bit of a closer look. Just looking at this manifold, we've got to decide whether it's, you know, it's actually, I mean, it's like always, you look at it and you go, you know, we're trying to help people here make a decision whether they need to clean their manifold or not. So I'm just trying to get this light in position. And, um... So we'll get the camera in around there to have a bit of a look-see. Right. Well, this has got its own camera. So how about we get rid of that light? Go like this. It's got its own light. Here we go. All right. And we have a bit of a bit of a look-see. Right now, that looks like a dark cave, doesn't it? I know everybody's feeling a bit inside out, upside down, back to front, but that looks pretty well like a dark cave, doesn't it? But I don't know if you can tell, if you can see. Right, but it's actually, again, it's not as bad as it looks. Like we looked at it and we went, there's a, there's quite a lot here, right? It's right, what you're looking at right here. Now, when I look at that light down into the number four port, it's not the greatest, but I've got a good eye for these things. I mean, most people would be looking at that going, ah, oh, yeah, it's terrible, just rip it out. But what I'm saying is, this is the worst end of things, and I can still see down number four port. It's almost full size. It's probably got 10% coating, like losing 10% of its space. And once the EJAR, you know, all that EJAR stuff isn't happening, and the oil, it's gonna, look, obviously we clean that out anyway, but what I'm trying to say is, this video is to help you decide whether you need to pull your manifold off, because a lot of people are doing it, and everybody knows it's what a fun job it is. But quite often, you find that it's not worth it. So, what I would say is, if you're getting an engine trouble code, diagnostic trouble code, an engine light coming on and it's a 2006, then definitely clean your inlet manifold. But if the vehicle drives really well, if it's got plenty of power, plenty of go, you know, and probably the owner will know best, depending how long they've had it, you know, whether it seems to have, you know, if it's getting low on power, really gutless, you know, this sort of thing. Um, whether, you know, that could be the intake's blocked up, it's not getting the airflow through there. Sometimes you can have knocks and rattles going on and it's because of one port blocked more than the other. It could be really blocked at the number four here and clear at the front or anything like that. That's why they can blow smoke because the mixture's all wrong because you're getting more air into one than the other. But generally, it's going to pull the air it needs just at a slightly higher velocity. So generally it doesn't cause too many issues. And as much as that looks really, that, that looks pretty bad, but that's look, there's much worse ones. That's, that hole's not even really kind of enclosed in. And most of it's sitting on that back wall there. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean it up, clean out that throat there, because either way we need to do that to have a bit of a better look. It looks fairly soft and not too bad to clean. And then we'll have a closer look and see what we reckon. Now, what about this EJAR cooler here? We've talked about these EJAR coolers. To take it off now, you would need to uh, remove the coolant hoses and coolant could go everywhere. And you've got, even though we've got caps on the common rail down there, it's just water. You don't want water around your fuel system, coolant, water, you know what I mean? Wet stuff, you know, not fuel. Uh, so we prefer not to do that. If you're gonna do that, then you drop all the coolant anyway. Um, on this job, we're going to be doing that anyway because we're doing the, even though the time belt's been done, um, just the timing belt, we're going to do the whole thing with the water pump and all the idler and the tensioner and reverse flush the radiator and all the stuff the way we do it. Give it the love to bring it back to um, freshen it up again. 
But uh, we're in deep thought, you know, like, you know, we don't want to not do the manifold, but then every time we decide that we say, this is, are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? Yes, B1. You know, every time we do <clears throat> one of these, what happens? Nothing. Yeah, we go, what do we do? And we look at it and we go, my, it's not as bad as what it looks, you know, looking there. So I'm really thinking that it doesn't need doing. But what I'd like to do, can you clean that out? And then we'll have a look at it again and make a final decision. Now, since this is a decision video, we'll call it decisions, decisions. Because I, I just hit the go button. I didn't even know what I was going to talk about. But on this vehicle, there's two things we've got to make decisions on. So that's what it's going to be called. Decisions, decisions. Um, one is whether to clean the inlet manifold or not, which is I'm thinking probably not. Um, waste of money, waste of time. And... The, the oil, the, yeah, the cracked valve cover. Let's go and have a look. All right, so this is the valve cover. The usual problem, someone's worked on it. All the nuts and bolts were over-tightened. So they probably uh, allowed the contamination of the injectors that probably, you know, if it wasn't perfect, probably caused by people, like usual. Um, yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. It wasn't a really filthy... Look, I didn't take that much notice. It was a little bit of oil. It wasn't a lot, was it? It was just a little bit at the back corner here, wasn't it? Yeah, so... So we're looking for cracks, and I found a couple of cracks, and it's in the usual spots, and some people may be able to see them already. I'll move the lighter here. One of the cracks is the usual spot where they over-tighten it. You can see that. Well, you might be able to see it. Let me get some light. It's really hard to get things to show up sometimes. I don't know. I hope you can see it. I can see it. Right, there it is. There's a bit of an angle. There's a bit of a light. There we go. Get rid of that light or bring that one in or not. Here we go. You can see the oil. The best part is the way to see it is the oil coming out of the crack, right? So that's crack there, but that's on the outside of the other side. I, I reckon this time, there wasn't a lot of oil right there, but there was a little bit. But that crack will come through, you can see, to the crush tube. We'll call this the crush tube, right? Once the bot crush tube, there's no more clip. That's it. That's where it goes to. 10 newton meters, 9 newton meters, 11, 8, I don't care. It says 9 in the book. 10 will do. But don't over tighten it because to crack that you've squashed the nuts out of this tube here anyway you can see the cracks on the outside there's no crack coming through on the inside that i can see so i reckon to sell 360 bucks for a valve cover risk it for the biscuit now the problem we got is this is where the choice is going to be right then you look around more but don't you've really got to look closely like get your magnifying glass out because see that one there you saw that crack pretty easy that's quite common but you see the one on the back corners here sometimes where you know kind of like they crack about there and sometimes they crack at the front of people over tighten at the front here but it is very difficult to see i'm going to try and get some light the right way and try and find it but i can see where the crack is and i'll just point it out for you so you can you can see it can you you can see it i'll get the light back here a bit where's the best place yeah, you can sort of see it around there can't you right you can see the start of it right there it's got a double crack you can see one there and another one up here Maybe, well that could be just, this is the thing, the way the moulding is, sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on, but you can definitely see at least a minor crack right there on that corner in the middle of the picture. Now there's two ways to fix that, we've covered it before, you can clean it up, and if you're not too fast you can put some nice bit of RTV around there, and that will seal it up forever. Cheapest oil leak fix that works. It's bloody awesome. It doesn't look the greatest, but who's sticking their head in the engine bay? Under the intercooler cover, under the intercooler, around the back of the engine to look to see if there's some RTV there. That's right, nobody cares. But if you do, you need a new valve cover, 360 bucks. If you're into value for money, RTV over the top there. And um, I say, well, that's fixed, right? So that's where it's at at the moment. Everything's all cleaned up, ready to go, other than we're cleaning up that manifold to make a final decision. Um, so watch out for those cracks. You really got to clean it up, blow it dry as we have, and so you can really give it a good inspection. And for those people that uh, aren't in the VIP group, I suppose, and they haven't seen all the videos, you know, injector replacement videos, uh, if you see oil on your valve cover, it's never this gasket. You know, they go, oh, I need to change the valve cover gasket. That gasket doesn't leak. I shouldn't say never. When they get about 15 years old, they can get a little bit hard. They can get a slight wet, but that's pretty good, isn't it? These seals don't leak either, but once again, once they get about 10, probably more like 15 years old, they can firm up a bit. Generally, they still don't leak. We replace those as part of the job, unless they feel really soft, like they've recently been changed, or whatever the case may be. But you need to be very careful changing those, that you don't bust or crack the valve cover. 
and it's not these that leak either it's the dirt under them so if you've got dirty injectors or dirt here because what happens is let's you know it's pretty obvious it's pretty obvious what happens is all the dirt over the years get all the bugs dust it goes through the intercooler and lands on the top of this cover here right and it pulls in around there and it gets under there and people pull the valve cover off and they're in a big hurry they haven't quoted you the right money to do the right job you get what you pay for you know you know how we roll you get what you pay for and they don't have the time to clean stuff this for us the whole cover gets washed clean blown dry and then we put the molly coat here right and this is clean you get one speck of sand there that holds that seal out just enough for a little oil trail to just trail its way through right so the reason they leak is grots yes grots you know those grots yes the grots that didn't clean anything and that's why you'll get oil pooling so if you go and have a look at your vehicles the 1kds or any other vehicle with injector setup similar to this and you see oil there it's not the seals the seals are good it's the person that worked on the vehicle last most likely it's grotty it's just grotty work anyway guys that's the video i'm going to send this one off to michael so that he can hopefully decide uh whether he wants a valve cover or whether he wants to rtv the back corner be his decision and the manifold i don't think it needs doing i think that's a waste of yeah by the time you know drop the coolant gaskets and all the work in a waste of a grand or whatever it is so anyway We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, smash the like button and uh, subscribe, turn the bell, and catch you on the next one. See ya.